Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you the most common sensors for interfacing with Arduino or PIC microcontrollers. With the help of these modules, you will be able to make lots of useful industrial projects. So I will mainly focus on the sensor modules, which consist of sensors as well as signal conditioning circuits. So let us begin by first discussing a very common temperature and humidity sensor which is DHT22 or the other variant of this sensor is SHT11. So this sensor is a very basic low cost digital temperature and humidity sensor. It uses a capacitive humidity sensor and a thermistor to measure humidity and the temperature. The input voltage is 3 to 5 volts and the output of this sensor is a digital stream of data which can easily be read by Arduino or microcontroller. The range of humidity is between 0 to 100 percent with an accuracy of 2 to 5 percent. Whereas for temperature it is between minus 40 to 80 degree C with an accuracy of plus minus 0 0.5 degree C. So this is a module on which pull up resistor is already connected with this sensor. The next is ADXL335 accelerometer module. This module measures acceleration force due to gravity. It can be used for tilt sensing applications as well as dynamic acceleration resulting from motion, shock or vibration. So it gives complete 3 axis acceleration measurements. It can measure plus minus 3G in all the axes. The output is the analog voltage proportional to the acceleration in all three axes. And this module contains the sensor as well as the signal conditioning circuitry. The next is HC05 Bluetooth module. This is used for wireless application, ranges up to 100 meters. It communicates with microcontroller or Arduino using serial port USART. The input of this module is between 3.3 to 5 volts. TXT pin is used to transmit serial data which is received wirelessly from any other Bluetooth device. RXT pin is used to receive the data from the microcontroller which is to be transmitted wirelessly to any other Bluetooth device. The next is analog joystick. So it is an analog input device used to control pointer movement in two dimensions that is in x axis or in y axis. It has two potentiometers to read the user input. The input voltage is between 0 to 5 volts for both the potentiometers. When the joystick is at the idle position it gives 2.5 volts as output. Whereas if it moves in x axis the voltage changes between 0 to VCC on x axis pin. Whereas for the moment in y direction the voltage is accordingly changes between 0 to VCC on y directional pin. The next is very important sensor which is ACS712 current sensor module. This sensor can measure AC and DC current using Hall effect principle. So you can use this sensor in order to build your ampere meter and also electronic overload protection devices. The input of this module is 5 ampere, 20 ampere or 30 ampere. You can directly connect this module in series with the power cable. The output is for 5 ampere version it is 185 millivolts per ampere and for 20 ampere version it is 100 millivolts per ampere. The main advantage of this module is to provide isolation between the power cables and the microcontrollers. Another very important sensor is TP223 capacitive touch module. It consists of dedicated capacitive touch sensor TP223 IC to sense the touch input. The output is changed to active high when touch is sensed 
from a range of 5 mm. The supply voltage is between 2.5 to 5.5 volts and the output is either active high or active low depending on your configuration and the sensitivity is auto calibrated. Again the very common sensor for measuring vibration is SW420. So this module is based on the vibration sensor SW420 and the comparator LM393 to detect vibrations. Supply voltage is between 3.3 to 5 volts and the output is low when there is no vibration and high equal to the VCC when the vibration is detected. And the vibration threshold can be adjusted using onboard potentiometer. The next sensor is rotary encoder. It is a continuously variable position sensor that gives position of the shaft and also the direction of rotation. The main purpose of this encoder is to scroll through a menu which you normally display on your LCD and then and you can select the item on the display by pressing this shaft. This can also act as a switch. So the supply voltage is 3.3 to 5 volts and output is the digital pulse to determine the direction of shaft rotation on DT pin and also another output in the form of a pulse to determine the amount of shaft rotation. So this is very ideal as an alternative to four buttons which is used to scroll through a menu. Please comment below if you want me to interface these sensors with Arduino or PIC microcontroller. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.